and hello and welcome to another edition of the Glaswegian Geek Podcast. Today we are following on with another minisode or minicast. Minicast. We'll go with minicast. Yeah, James? another another minisode um, about the ever wonderful animated universe. Yes, um, Marvel's animated universe for a for a change. You know, we're, we're we're all about equality here and fairness and unbiased opinions. Unless you happen to like uh, a certain Batman and Robin fuck boy movie, <coughs> or Batman vs Superman, but we won't get into yes, that. Yes, we won't get into that. Um, Not today, anyway. That yeah. is for another day. Anyway, James, what the fuck are we talking about today? We're talking about the quite gruesome Hulk vs Wolverine animated movie. That's what we're talking about today. The mini animated movie. Yeah. So we're doing a mini cast about a mini animated movie. How appropriate, James? Miniception. 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 Mm-hmm. I'm loving it. Couldn't have planned it any better if we tried. Yeah, man. So if you don't know who the Hulk and Wolverine are... Get a grip I of yourself. <laughs> I don't know where you've been. Two of the most iconic comic book characters in the world. Yes, indeed. And uh, we start off the movie, James. We'll dive right into the story. Let's dive right into the story. Yes. Wol- Wolverine throws Bruce Banner off a of boulder. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which we get right into a fight scene of Wolverine picking himself up. And one thing I really do love about this, it shows you that no matter how hard you get hit, you're probably going to get get your a wee memory or two knocked out, you know. Wolverine picks himself up and goes, what, what happened? Mate, Hulk happened. Hulk smashed your ass. I have seen in this movie Hulk slapping people, crushing people, throwing people into walls, standing on someone. That was probably the worst. No, uh, really? The, the jump stand, really? Standing, then jumping, and then putting someone through the floor is uh, about as bad as it got. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, the story kind of starts with Wolverine talking about... Yeah, he gets up and he has a memory of like before he was... Yeah, like years... We're, we're guessing it as years prior when... Uh, the iconic first meeting between Wolverine and the Hulk. It's a hell of an opener, to be honest. Just a non-stop fight for a good couple minutes. And it's it's a nice little kind of backstory. With, with these characters, you don't really need a backstory with them. You know, the Department H sent Wolverine to attack the Hulk. Boom. There's your backstory. Done. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That sums it up quite well. And yeah, Wolverine bumps into a Bruce Banner post Hulkage and then wants to know who he is. And he's like, oh my God, you smell toxic. And then proceeds to throw him off a boulder, which is beautiful. Now, I think, in my knowledge of the Hulk, if Bruce Banner was thrown off a rock, that he would just turn and combust into the Hulk immediately. But he, he, he kept it quite under control. Shows there, I thought. I think he was again, with the movies, James, it shows very great restraint. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to fight you because I'll fucking kill you. Like, that's kind of like what the Hulk is. But then Hulk appears. They get in their little fights. Yeah, like, there's couple. blood. There's, like, stabbing. There's people getting crushed. And then out of nowhere, Mario, who shows up? The wonderful, wonderful Deadpool. Yes, Mr. Comedy. One red and black bastard. Yeah, so Deadpool With appears. Uh, and who else, James? Who else has happened to be shadowing him? <laughs> On tonight's episode of Catch the Wolverine, we <laughs> have the wonderful Lady Deathstrike, following Omega Red, Deadpool, and some other cunt that I really don't care about. And who's that some other cunt, James? Does that happen to be some Sabretooth bastard? Oh yes, that one, yes. I actually quite like Sabretooth, but not when he looks like that. <laughs> he looks a bit... Um, yeah, very animalistic suit. Uh, it's a class. It's an iconic classic Sabretooth suit, which I don't really like, and I do feel he's a little bit too uh, is hench the right word like too bulky like in in the comics well, he, like Sabretooth is like maybe seven feet tall well he is like, he's, he is quite built and that is but how he's, he looks. he's 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 very hunchy like he's hunched over he's got a hunchback don't you think well I think if he goes by the name of Sabretooth I think he's probably drawing inspiration from you know a kind of tiger no really no no really I just is that, is I that just why is I that why you maybe forgot that because I'm trying to establish why he might be hunched over I mean he's not quite on all fours but he's pretty much close to it so I'm just trying to clarify that for you thank me later right don't embarrass yourself on the podcast right because I know you forgot that I was paying attention Yes, anyway, X-Men 2 levels of we don't like this Sabretooth. It wasn't X-Men, X-Men 1. Two. Oh, X-Men James, one. don't embarrass yourself on this podcast. Look, nobody's perfect. <laughs> I grant that I'm pretty close to it, but I'm not perfect, right? I got confused. 
X Men won Sabretooth left yes, of disliking yes. this Sabretooth. And yeah, all Sabretooth is there for is classic Sabretooth. I want to batter fuck it Wolverine. That's that. Yeah, pretty much. And uh we've got the comedic chime ins of Deadpool every now and again. Who does sound like Ryan Reynolds yeah, even though? Very scarily. Yeah, uh, maybe Ryan Reynolds was just destined for it. Yeah. Well, this was I believe after X Men Origins. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was Surely not. after the X Men Origins film. Yeah, so this actually came out the same year as Wolverine X Men Origins, so maybe Who done Deadpool better? This. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. Who done Wolverine better? This. Yes. Who done Sabretooth better? Origins. <laughs> 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 Um, so Origins had something good gone for it, I suppose. It's Where are we at with the story now? Well, it's all about Weapon X, uh, the f- Weapon X program, wanting Wolverine back, and they've captured uh, Hulk slash Bruce Banner because they, well, want something that powerful, which is understandable, you know. You As any plan goes, it goes tits up, mate. Well, you've got Lady Deathstrike and Sabretooth going against everybody in the project and they just want to fucking gut Wolverine and kill him. Because who does they? Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, like instead of, oh, we're going to work with you, mm, nah, we're just going to fucking murder you. Well, that's it, isn't it? It's, that's, that's every Wolverine story ever told. It's like, oh, look, Wolverine's the good guy. Oh, look, it's a villain. I want to kill you. Is there yeah. a reason you want to kill me? No, I just want to kill you. That's just reasons, it. you just, know. Just, cause just reasons. But I mean, there's this animalistic thing with Wolverine's villains, I know. It's just sort of like, you know, it's competition. Do yeah. I mean? It's very, you know, dog eat dog. And that's kind of like where his characters come from. Unless you're Lady Deathstrike and you're a fucking robot. Yeah. Um, who's just like, oh, fuck this man. I just want you dead for some weird reason. Like, you know. But, like, Wolverine ends up baiting Lady Deathstrike to basically impale him, but also get Sabretooth, which in turn lets him get away, which, you know, well done, you stupid bitch. Yeah, and then he bumps into Bruce Banner, and what is his response when he meets Bruce Banner? He's like, I need some help. How am I going to get some help? What does he do, Mario? He gleefully does what? Stabs him in the gut. Stabs him? Like, oh, that, that's all right, I'll sort this out. And, like, like the Hulk yeah, appears. Get, get your big green friend out, come on, let's go for a dance. Heard that before. Big green friend? Yeah. It's my cock in a sock. Just saying. No words, James. No words. What would this podcast be if it didn't have a little um, ruthless filth talk? It'd be know? nothing. We're appealing, to ad- we're appealing to adults. Very it's true. got charm and Explicit class. podcast. Expl- oh, it's got an E next to it. Mm. Yes. Yeah, the Hulk <laughs> appears. Clearly didn't like Bruce Banner being stabbed. Surprise, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Shock you know, horror, you know? It's just like... You, 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 ju- you just you just stabbed Bruce and that inadvertently meant you stabbed me. I'm going to fucking kill you, wee <laughs> man. Yeah, naturally, of course, um, Wolverine then baits the Hulk into dealing with the X-Force. No, not the X-Force, well, uh, Weapon X. Yeah, well, the Weapon X. X. Weapon X-Force, right, okay. <laughs> that's what I'm calling them and that's the end of it. I don't even care. Uh, what is kind of good, though, is Sabretooth and Lady Deathstrike being very villainous and twisting it, saying, oh, it was Wolverine that stabbed the professor, so that's how he got away. Mon will get him. Like, you know, for a short animated uh, movie that really, just as it is, Hulk versus Wolverine, it's nice to have a little bit of story into it, you know? Well, I mean, the story is quite basic, you know, it, it genuinely feels like it's part of something bigger, you know, these characters who meet each other halfway through something that's already happened, and then they get captured by Weapon X, and then Weapon X want to do something naughty with them, and then, you know, it's like, oh, we need to get out of here, you know, and then they effectively work together and get out. Um, well, not really work together as much as well, Hulk well. destroys everything. And Wolverine's just like, lol, I'm away. I'm running. During the fight scenes, we are we do get a good couple of moments. We get the Hulk fighting Deadpool. Well, more so Deadpool jumping on the Hulk's head and then sticking oh. a grenade in his mouth. Aye, aye, and then <laughs> Deadpool's like, and they all lived happily ever after, except the Hulk. And he's like, bub, you just made him angrier. <laughs> like, and the Hulk's like, Hulk, rip off little talky man's head. Yeah, which he didn't do. The, if the Hulk's going to make like a statement like that, follow through on it, mate. I mean, it's not like Deadpool's going to die. I mean, I know. <laughs> well, well, we did see Deadpool stick his, like, arm back together after Wolverine sliced it, so, you know, it could happen. But, oh. you know, Hulk, come on, follow through on your promises, mate. 
Like, no, seriously, you're letting his eye down. It loses a star on the rating for that. Oh. False promises. Oh. False promises, man. I can't be dealing with it. I trusted this film to deliver. <laughs> and it does, for the most part. It's it's uh, it's not an animated thing for kids, really. It's yeah, not, kid, like... Yeah, that a, a teenager, probably. Could watch like, that. if we were to ever get this in a Marvel movie of the Hulk versus Wolverine, I would like to think it's along these lines... Like, you do see, at the start, Wolverine slicing into the Hulk quite a lot. Uh, Lady Deathstrike scratches a Hulk a couple times and stuff, but pff, really does nothing. Wolverine, well, this is way before everything, and Wolverine slicing into security guards and stuff, so it's very, it's very different and good to what we're used to. Like, if they go back to, like, the uh, 90s X-Men animated series, it was mainly Wolverine slicing guns with his claws and then doing, like, a fly spin kick. Oh, like a way uh, to talk Knocking pash. someone over and whatever. A like, this, we are getting kind of, like, a little bit more mature, which is This is very X-Men evolution. Mm, kind of. Yeah. Only with a bit more gore. Animation style is very X-Men Animation style evolution. is... It's more along the lines of X-Men ev- evolution, but it's... A little bit more adult and a little bit more darker. Oh, well, there's, you know. Uh, the uh, use a little darker. Uh, the use columns. of blood. Dead, Deadpool's arm getting cut off. Like a piece of salami there. Like, it, yeah, things like that. They're not the kind of thing that you would, you know. Yeah. You would show on a cartoon channel. But, no. You know, it's, it's very much, uh, it's very much kind of Marvel's kind of standard to something like Under the Red Hood. Yeah. To Marvel's standard. So it's still quite kiddie. It's still quite you know, over the top, not quite as grounded as, like, DC's sort of animated yeah. things, but it's still, you know, Marvel's name is Marvel. They aim to Please. be marvellous and to be big and grand. DC are more, you're grounded, so... I mean, this was, this was quite interesting. I mean, th- there's plenty of other, other animated features, you know, you've got, that, that are similar to this, like, you know, Iron Man, Rise of the Town, No Man, so which yeah. isn't that great, but you've got the one with the Punisher, you know, like, and that's very anime, that proper anime. Yeah. I would probably say that this is anime style, like not so much car- like cartoon animation, yeah, yeah. but sort of like anime, which works, which works for it. I mean, Marvel have a few of these. I don't think they're as good as DC's, uh, uh, but I think some some are. Like you've got Planet Hulk, which is Planet uh, Hulk, yeah, very good. It's quite like it differs from the graphic, but it's probably one of the finest. To be fair, the Planet Hulk graphic is quite lengthy. And oh yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't fit it into like one film no but way. you know so they tried their best to do that and it worked I mean Doctor Strange as well you know and you've got some Avengers ones and things like that but you know Marvel have their own little hidden batch of films some are good some are, aren't that great well it's like everything else it's you like get good else. and bad ones a couple other points we get to see the Hulk being quite vicious it's something you mentioned at the start you see the Hulk jumping on Omega Red basically he's stomped into the ground anyway but then jumps on his chest breaking the floor and him falling underneath now all I'm going to say is boy did boy dead like he very dead like Omega dead <laughs> <laughs> Yes! <laughs> uh, I do love moments like this, James. What, I was what, made for moments like this. What, when you're actually funny? <laughs> you're fucking dead. <laughs> Omega dead. <laughs> uh, live for it. No, don't worry, son. You're funny a lot. <laughs> yes. That, w- that caught me off guard. I quite liked that one. Uh, yeah, you've got <laughs> <laughs> moments like that. <laughs> Uh, and you've also got the Lady Deathstrike fight scene, which is actually quite brutal, to be honest. Yeah, Lady Deathstrike's uh, one of those... I, I think I, I really like Lady Deathstrike, and I don't think she was a character that was done very well in the, the X-Men film. Uh, <laughs> it was actually quite sad, because, you know, they, they gave her adamantium sort of... Claws. N- n- claws. Nails. Nails. This is, like, sort of like, the you know, the claws are under her skin, so it's like her fingers that, you know, extend and become claws. Yeah. So you don't actually see the adamantium or whatever you know, whatever they're made of in this. But that's a quite an interesting thing to to have. I think, like you well, know, it's I'm guessing from the fact that well, she actually cut the Hulk. You're kind of assuming that they're adamantium. Yeah, they, so they're pretty. Sure. I mean, they went right through Wolverine, so they're obviously adamantium. Yeah. That's that's uh, that's. Oh, anything like. can go through Wolverine. It's just his uh, skeleton. So I'm gonna say they're adamantium, right? Oh, just I'll, the I'll say it. Just for the giggles. I, I mean, you know, the Hulk, 
well, to be honest, the Hulk is the person that effectively kills these people. Oh, how he, how he deals with Lady Deathstrike is absol- the absolute tits, man. Uh, I love it. Thunderclap, first of all, which is something I love in a, like, a Hulk. Well, any game. Hulk has big Hulk. hands. He yeah. will send you flying if he claps them. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Dead, dead. Like, <laughs> and she literally lifts Death Strike up by her arms. Aye. And she but, starts but screaming the thing at is, him. She just screams. Hulk just screams back. Like, that is just like. I'm not scared of you. Aye, and then like rips her arms off and she aye. just falls to the ground. And I was just like, oh my God, that's um, appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> Which shows the maturity of this animated feature, which I do like. I do like your kind of maturer films like uh, Kill and Joke. Because it, it's, it's a nice throwback to, to a grown audience. Like, you've watched it years ago, kind of child-friendly, and now they're kind of realising that, well, we can get away with some of this stuff. Why not have it in? Make it more mature. Chuck in a good story. I mean, you know. This is better, like this is better than you know most X Men films. Yes, and it's ki- it's better than some of Marvel Cinematic Universe. To be quite honest, yeah. Um, just because it's it's pretty much action start to finish. It's literally just if you want like a double episode of an animated series like Batman or like X Men. Like it's, it's, it runs under like thirty seven minutes. Yeah, I mean, which y- it's it's there. It's like a double part. Or there you go, well and, yeah. and done. And you've got the... So this is Hulk versus Wolverine. Yes. And the second part is Hulk versus Thor, which I love because my boy Loki's in it and everything he's in just makes me wet. So Very even true. if he's a cartoon. Like, so I'm totally okay with what comes after this. Because yeah. uh, I think... I mean, I think Hulk versus Wolverine is deemed the best of the two. I would say so. But... um Hulk versus Thor tries to be more story orientated. The story in this is very basic. Hulk, uh, when Hulk gets activated and Hulk appears, like effectively, all that happens is like it's just a montage of Wolverine yeah. and Hulk beating the shit out of everybody and then escaping. Yeah, I mean that's kind of where it like ends off. Although I mean they have another wee squabble. I know after like the Weapon X buildings destroyed, it's like it's a it's a good like kind of bookend like it starts with them fighting it ends with them fighting like why are they fighting because hulk wants to be the st- strongest there is and wolverine's just like wants to be the best at I, I, he want, does. I just want to scrap mate <laughs> that's it that's it you know it's that's that's kind of how it goes but i mean that's that's pretty much it yeah uh james out of 10 what do you think i get a, get a strong seven i would i would say a seven eight mm, I'll uh, go with seven because it's not really story driven. It's more no, action. It's, it's just if you want a little animated romp of two characters yeah, fighting and want a good fighting some cat. other people. Ah, brilliant. Why not? Go for it. Yeah. Um, and I'm deducting stars because of that false promise. I wanted to see Deadpool's <laughs> get ripped clean off, man. Like that was paid. Like, well, you you that s- that that scene maybe would be worth the money. Maybe include it because X Men Origins Wolverine. Uh, uh, maybe a wee tie back to uh, that. Maybe, mm, maybe. Well, if they were doing that, they were stupid because this is clearly better than Origins. Very true. The only thing Origins did better was Sabretooth. And I'm being <laughs> deadly serious <laughs> about that. I don't care if it wasn't comic accurate. It was it, it was better. But yeah, aye, that's it. You know, yep. Wolverine Origins followed and we all know what happened to that. So, yeah. Went tits up, mate. <laughs> Went more than tits up, mate. But another story for another time. Yes, another time indeed. And on that note, James, so follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Glaswegian Geeks. And remember, we are on SoundCloud and iTunes. Yes. Uh, iTunes is quite a, a big deal for us because we thought, oh, it's going to be hard. And then it turned out to be quite easy. So, yeah, uh, if you prefer to listen to us on iTunes, you can catch us there. Prefer us on SoundCloud, that's your choice. I don't know why, but, you know, it's your choice. Uh, and, yeah, follow us. Let us know what you would like to have reviewed and stuff like that. Let us know what you thought and what you thought about the film if you've seen it and yeah that's it yeah geek out y'all